Gemini, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for February 12th to 18th. We begin with the Hierophant in the past position. This card represents tradition and institutions and conformity to societal norms. And in the past position, it's suggesting that you have been heavily influenced by traditional values, perhaps conforming to some expectations set by society or family or an established system of some kind. This could indicate a period where you really were seeking guidance from established authorities or you were adhering closely to quite structured belief systems. And this doesn't have to be religious. This can be academic. It can be any kind of, of belief system that has a history of, of structure to it. It may also suggest a time where you were more focused on conventional wisdom and seeking guidance from established figures or institutions. We have the Three of Wands in the present position here. This card is a card of expansion and foresight and exploration. It indicates that you are currently in a phase of planning and anticipation right now, eagerly awaiting the fruits of your labor to come in, so to speak. You have set your sights on, on distant horizons here, and you're ready to embark on a journey of, of growth and opportunity. This card encourages you to have confidence in your abilities and to continue looking forward with, with optimism, even if the path ahead might seem a little bit uncertain right now. Because it's suggesting that you are on the brink of significant developments and that your patience and your long-term vision, your long-term thinking are going to lead you to success. In the future position, we have the Two of Pentacles. This card represents balance, adaptability, and managing multiple priorities. In the future position here, it suggests that you'll soon be faced with decisions requiring careful juggling of resources and responsibilities. You may find yourself in a situation where you need to find harmony between different aspects of your life, such as work and personal commitments, finances, or just conflicting priorities. This card advises you to remain flexible and adaptable as you navigate the ups and downs here of life's demands. It reminds you that maintaining equilibrium is going to be key to weathering challenges and, and finding stability in the midst of change here. So this is really telling a story here of adhering to tradition and established norms, giving way to this phase that you're in right now of anticipation and expansion. And this is really going to lead to a need for balance and adaptability on your part in managing various aspects of your life that this expansion is, is going to bring in for you. So it's suggesting that you've, you've really moved beyond a phase in your life of, of strictly adhering to conventional wisdom. And you're now embracing opportunities for growth and exploration. And you're going to encounter situations that require you to really work to maintain balance and flexibility in order to navigate successfully through the challenges that this, this feeling of expansion and exploration and letting go of past belief systems is, is going to cause for you. That's a, that's a pretty big change, quite a huge perceptual shift that is happening for you presently. So trust in your ability to adapt and find harmony amidst this change, and you're going to emerge stronger and, and more resilient. At the bottom of the deck, we pulled the Three of Swords for you as your clarifying card this week. This card typically represents heartache and, and sorrow and emotional pain. It suggests that you, you might have experienced or are currently experiencing a period of difficulty, of, of loss or emotional turmoil. 
And this could manifest as feelings of sadness, betrayal, or disappointment in a relationship or just a situation. This is really adding quite a layer of, of complexity and depth to this narrative we have here this week. With the, the Hierophant here, the Three of Swords is suggesting that this past mode of, of strictly adhering to traditional values or this reliance on established institutions may have led to some emotional distress or disappointment in your past. Perhaps you felt really restricted or constrained by societal expectations here. And that really led to a sense of inner conflict or, or sorrow for you. While the Three of Wands here, with, with the Three of Wands here, it's clarifying that you are in this phase of anticipation and growth. But there, there might be some lingering emotional wounds or challenges that you need to address right now. This could indicate that despite your optimism and your forward momentum, which is very much happening, you may be carrying some emotional baggage from past experiences that, that still need some healing and resolution. And I think, you know, it's strangely built into this expansion. It's almost like this emotional baggage is propelling you forward in a weird way. But you do need to, to leave it behind on this shore here before you get on that ship or or get rid of it so that you can take in what that ship is bringing to you with the two of pentacles the three of swords is warning you that as you navigate this need for balance and adaptability you may encounter some situations that that trigger this past pain or emotional vulnerability for you it's advising you to be mindful of how your emotional state influences your ability to manage multiple priorities and make decisions effectively. And I think we all know that's true when we're not feeling great about ourselves, about our life situation. Those are the times that we might not make the smartest decisions. We might not be thinking clearly enough to make wise choices for ourselves. So this card is coming in to say it's really essential right now to prioritize self-care and healing as you move forward through this energy. So this card is coming in to say, let's address some emotional wounds here. Let's do what we can to heal from any past hurts as we move forward because we're, we're poised here for growth and adaptation. So it's crucial to acknowledge or process any lingering pain or sorrow that might be hindering your progress right now. And, and by confronting these emotions with honesty and compassion, you can cultivate greater resilience and emotional strength. It's that paradox of allowing yourself to feel sad, to feel vulnerable, to feel hurt, that weirdly builds strength. And that's why it's so crucial for you to do that right now. You're going to find strength by, by facing this emotional pain. And that's going to really help you navigate some of the complexities and, and choices and changes that this, this energy of expansion and growth is going to bring in for you. So I think it's really time to work on some emotional healing this week. I'm definitely getting this sense here of you doing some quite profound expanding of, of your horizons for yourself. I'm, I'm noticing in these cards here, the Three of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, both of these figures are standing next to the water here. And I'm getting the sense that this expansion of your horizons may actually involve a physical move of some sort. I'm getting possibly you traveling overseas. And I'm noticing both of these ships in the background of these cards are both kind of leaning to the left here. So I'm, I'm getting this energy of perhaps you 
thinking about moving out west somewhere, westward. I'm getting this real go west young man kind of energy. So you have to let me know in the comments if I'm if I'm onto something there for you, if that resonates for you at all. But I'm getting this feeling that you leaving behind some kind of old way of being or thinking and allowing yourself to enter this more expansive mindset might involve actually moving away from something and, and towards something else, either emotionally or physically. And I think that Three of Swords might be coming in to represent how much difficulty is involved in, in making a big move. And there may be excitement about it, but also a little bit of, of sadness as you're leaving something behind. But I very much get the energy that you are ready for this change. You're ready to get rid of some emotional baggage, some, some lingering pain or hurt that you may have recently experienced. And you're just on the precipice of, of making some kind of big change for yourself. That is your reading for this week, dear Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.